I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. Keep banging your head against the problem. It'll go away eventually. <laughs> I'm predictable, I know. I suppose I'll never find them on my own. We saw so many Red Templars at the assault on Haven. Perhaps all that was left of the Order. What we didn't see was Lord Seeker Lucius. Indeed, I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars, or anywhere. I have a growing suspicion Corypheus has imprisoned them. Why imprisoned? He could just as easily have killed them. Not easily. But yes, they may be dead. But the Seekers began this war against the Mages. They cannot have simply vanished. There must be a trail we can follow, yet so far I have only discovered hints. But they could have ended up just like the Red Templars. Seekers do not use Lyrium. I assume Corypheus gained control of the Templars by corrupting the Lyrium they were already taking. To do the same to a Seeker, you'd have to force the Lyrium upon him. That may be what happened, but it couldn't have begun that way. We're missing a piece of the puzzle. I need to find it. Finding them obviously means a lot to you. I left the Order, but I can never abandon them. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. But even so, if there's a chance, if we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor, I would appreciate it. The papers you found on the Red Lyrium smugglers were exactly what we needed. We have the location of the Red Templar's main supply of Lyrium. You'll never guess where. Right under Skyhold. Actually, it's better. Sarnia, you've already dealt with the Red Templars there. That was Samson's Red Lyrium supply. The past tense is apt. We should send some people to sift through what's left. With some luck, we can track the shipments from the quarry to Samson's headquarters. As the Seekers of Truth have proven resistant to the effects of Red Lyrium, the Elder One has seen fit to place them in your care. Reclaim your destiny, and know that the Elder One expects your devotion as repayment. Signed by Lord Samson, Commander of the Red Templars. Does Corypheus not realize the promises want the world to end? What use are they to him? Corypheus will probably betray them before they get their chance. But after he gets what he needs out of them. But this doesn't explain how he captured the Seekers in the first place, or what's been done with them. We must keep looking. The letter said Seekers were resistant to Red Lyrium. Our abilities grant us many gifts, but a resistance to Red Lyrium's corruption? That seems strange. Although it would explain why none have numbered among the Red Templars. And thus Seekers would be useless to Corypheus. He would have no leash to hold us. Do you really want to keep looking? What we find might not be pleasant. I do not shy away from unpleasant things. I must know. Daniel! Daniel! Can you hear me? Cassandra! It is you. You're alive. As are you. I'm so glad I found you. No, they put a, a demon inside me. It's tearing me up. What? You can't be possessed. That's impossible. I'm not possessed. They fed me things. I can feel it growing. The promises will pay for what they've done. No. The Lord Seeker. We'll find him. If he lives, we'll... Lucius betrayed us, Cassandra. He sent us here, one by one. An important mission, he said. Lies. He was here with them all along. He's still working with them. But we met Lord Seeker Lucius in Val Royale. He couldn't have been here. That wasn't him. It was a demon. Masquerading. What? How could that be? The Lord Seeker allowed it. He let the demon take command while he... Came here. If we find the Lord Seeker, he's dead. Wait. 
Don't leave me like this, please. You should have come with me. You didn't believe in the war any more than I did. You know me. I wanted that promotion. <coughs> Go to the Maker's side, Daniel. You will be welcome. Lord Sika Lucius. Cassandra. With a woman I can only assume is the new Inquisitor. And you're the man who betrayed his own order. I presume you know we Seekers of Truth were once the original Inquisition. Oh yes. We fought to restore order in a time of madness long ago. As you do now. And we became proud. We sought to remake the world, to make it better. But what did we create? The Chantry, the Circles of Magi. A war that will see no end. You lured your entire order to their deaths. There was no other choice. No other choice? Have you gone mad? We Seekers are abominations, Cassandra. We created a decaying world and fought to preserve it even as it crumbled. We had to be stopped. You don't believe me? See for yourself. The secrets of our order passed to me after the former Lord Seeker was slain. The war with the mages had already begun, but it was not too late for me to do the right thing. He's completely mad, isn't he? Lord Seeker, what you've done... I know. What Corypheus did with the Templars does not matter. I have seen the future. I have created a new order to replace the old. The world will end so we can start anew. A pure beginning. Join us, Cassandra. It is the Maker's will. I've been reading the letters found in the quarry. Samson is making red lyrium from people? Not anymore. Not in that mine. I knew Samson had fallen, but this... It's monstrous. We have to put an end to him. Look at these orders from the encampment. That armor must give Samson extraordinary power. We may not be able to stop him. Take away his armor and the lyrium, and Samson's just another man. But I couldn't say how. Templars are trained not to destroy expensive magical equipment. Perhaps Dagna has some ideas. She crafts the impossible every day. Dagna, what have you learned of Samson? He should be dead. I mean, you could make a hat out of red lyrium and kill people, especially the wearer. Samson's armor is genius. To do all this and not go insane, it must be resistant. Or he is insane. Or both. You're not comforting me, Dagna. He's dangerous either way. Oh, fine. I just need time and tools. People. And red lyrium. For tests, you see? Is that wise? Everything is safe if handled properly. And you don't touch it long. Or breathe it. I mentioned the hat, right? <laughs> no hat. Time and resources, Inquisitor. I'll get what you want. No shoe. Sure. I've work to do. <sighs> this tome has passed from Lord Seeker to Lord Seeker since the time of the old Inquisition. And now it falls to me. Maybe you should have left it to rot. I wonder the same. Do you know what the Rite of Tranquility is? The last resort used on mages in the Circle, leaving them unable to cast, but depriving them of dreams and all emotion. It should only be used on those who cannot control their abilities, but that has not always been the case. 
Deprived of all emotion? That sounds... I always thought it a necessary evil. What finally began the Mage Rebellion was the discovery the right of tranquility could be reversed. The Lord Seeker at the time covered it up. Harshly. There were deaths. It was dangerous knowledge. The shock of its discovery in addition to what happened in Kirkwall. But it appears we've always known how to reverse the right. From the beginning. Why keep that knowledge a secret? To become a Seeker, I spent months in a vigil, emptying myself of all emotion. I was made tranquil and didn't even know. Then the vigil summoned the spirit of faith to touch my mind. That broke tranquility and gave me my abilities. The Seekers did not share that secret. Not with me, not with the Chantry. Not even with... There's more. Lucius was not wrong about the Order. I thought to rebuild the Seekers once victory was ours. Now I'm not certain it deserves to be rebuilt. You said there was more in the book. At some point, power becomes its own master. We cast aside ideals in favor of expedience and tell ourselves it was all necessary for the people. Will that happen to us, Inquisitor? Will we repeat history? No, we're nothing like the Seekers. I wonder how much we resemble what they used to be. I don't think I've ever seen you so shaken. I do not think the Seekers have been doing the Maker's work. Not truly. Perhaps we believed it once. The original Inquisition came to be during a terrible time. But now, we harbored secrets and let them fester. We acted to survive, but not to serve. That is not the Maker's work. If you did rebuild the Seekers, how would you do it? I can't be the only one remaining. We will always spread to the winds, and some may still be out there. I would find them one by one. We would all read this book. No more secrets. Then together we would establish a new charter. The Maker's work in truth. You keep saying that, but what is the Maker's work? There is no way to know for certain. That is why we must seek it out. Perhaps we lost our way because we stopped looking. Rebuild the Seekers. Make them better than they were. Thank you. I could not have done this on my own. No red lyrium, no allies, and soon Samson will have no armor, I hope. You hope? Dagnus started work on her red lyrium samples, but she needs more details on the armor. We found orders in the mine. They mentioned Maddox, a name I did not expect to hear. Another voice from your past. In a way, this is complicated. Maddox was a mage in Kirkwall's circle. Samson smuggled letters between him and his sweetheart. Eventually, Samson was caught. That's why he was cast out of the Order. Maddox was made tranquil and became a skilled craftsman of magical items. Samson must have rescued him. Why would Maddox need saving? When the mages rebelled in Kirkwall, the worst battles took place at the gallows in the circle itself. I thought Maddox had died in the fighting, or was eking out a living on the streets. A hard fate for a tranquil in Kirkwall. Samson must have found him. Taken him in. I can't believe they made a man tranquil over a few love letters. The official charge was corrupting the moral integrity of a Templar. Knight Commander Meredith wielded the brand for far lesser offenses, believe me. Having an inside man among Samson's forces would be invaluable, if we could convince him. I couldn't say. I've lived around tranquil most of my life and I've never understood them. It seems Maddox built Samson's armor for him and maintains it still. Tranquil and Kirkwall needed rare and expensive supplies for their enchantments. Supplies we can trace. I can have our men kick down some doors, Inquisitor. Samson's armor might lead us right to his stronghold. Good book. Oh! 
I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, because I suddenly went blind. Oh, that. Just reports from Commander Cullen. You're an excellent liar. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. It's a book. I can see that. It's one of Varric's tales. Swords and shields. That's just her favorite. Nobody asked you, Tevinter. <laughs> I couldn't finish the last one you lent me. I actually feel dumber for having tried. It's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. Maybe I should read that book. You? No. Why not me? You're the Inquisitor. <laughs> oh, I see. They're terrible. And magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. You. You could ask him to finish it. Command him to... Pretend you don't know this about me. Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. She's a pretty big fan, in fact. Are we talking about the same Cassandra? Tall, grumpy seeker, like stabbing things? Wait, did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. I'm sure it's not as terrible as you think. Well, there are a number of critics who'd be happy to argue with you. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition, I get to be there when you give her the book. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. My heart. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. I met a friendly spirit who observed the dreams of village girls as love first blossomed in their adolescence. With subtlety, she steered them all to village boys with gentle hearts who would return their love with gentle kindness. The matchmaker, so I called her. That small village never knew its luck. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found the ruin of Baron Dua, a lost to Vinter's city buried deep beneath a dead and barren wasteland. Volcanic ash had sealed it tight. In one dark moment, every living creature in the city seared and smothered. They were statues in the ashes, like a mold made to recall the lost. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a savage human horde go marching toward the battlefront. They sang a soldier's hymn to keep formation. The primal music shook the ground. These savage, unwashed warriors carried harmonies no chantry choirs mastered. Though their cause was all but hopeless, they sang songs that made the spirits weep. We'll talk later. Dareth Shira. Gloat all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even... Inquisitor. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? Are you two playing nice? I'm always nice. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won, and <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. I should return to my duties as well. Unless you would care for a game. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. Between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. You have siblings? Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? 
They moved to South Reach after the blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, it's my turn. All right, let's see what you've got. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. We should spend more time together. Would you not prefer Solus's company? Of course. But you and I can be friends, I hope. Friends? Yes, of course. I believe this one is yours. Well played. What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. This is your doing. Stop acting like you don't want to read it, Cassandra. Well, if you're not interested, you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain after the last chapter. She was falsely accused. Well, it turns out the guardsman... Don't tell me! <clears throat> this is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. I... thank you. Varric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant to my loyal readers. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Ah, <sighs> completely worth it. <sighs> 